We've been looking forward to this bout at the debut of the man on your right, Jordan Johnson, out of the University of Iowa, a wrestler. But Randy, he's taken on Maxime Grecian, who is last year's number two seed heading into the playoffs. Absolutely. Maxime poses a lot of problems. He's long, he's rangy, he's got great striking. Look for him to play that range game and keep Jordan out of his wheelhouse. Well, there's the accomplished wrestler, the undefeated Jordan Johnson. He was 4-0 in the UFC. He's 10-0 in his career so far, Eve. And he's done it against really quality competition. He has, and I believe that's because he's a pretty, really cerebral fighter. I remember watching one of his fights in the UFC and rec him recognizing that his opponent had the skills to beat him. So what did he do? He fought the fight that he needed to fight to win. Stay at distance when he needed to, close the gap, wrestle when he needed to. He seems to be a very smart fighter. He's gonna need those smarts tonight because he's fighting a man with a lot more experience. There is Maxime Grecian. Kind of a surprise heading into round two, or season two, I should say. Not a lot of information on him when we were coming into season one. Hard to find some of his fights because they all had taken place in Russia. He's got 28 wins on his record. That's good for the most of any of our light heavyweights returning here for season two. And he learned a lot of lessons in season one in that playoff run. He's a former training partner of Fedor Emelianenko from Fedor's camp. He says Fedor came in and trains with him on occasion, but not on a fairly regular basis. He's uh, been working a lot more on his wrestling going into this season. It feels like that was a big difference for him last season. Well, and it could be a big difference against the guy who's an elite wrestler in Jordan Johnson. Here's the tail of the tape. Reach advantage for the shorter fighter here. Jordan Johnson, 79 inches to Maxine Grecian, 76, but the leg reach, a significant six-inch advantage for Maxine Grecian. Randy, will we see him throw some kicks because of it? It's risky. When anytime you pick one foot up to kick a guy, you're standing on one leg. It's hard to sprawl. It's hard to, to keep a wrestler like Jordan Johnson off of you. Light heavyweight tilts. Lillian Garcia will get us started inside the Smart Cage. All right, fight fans. This next bout is scheduled for three light heavyweight division and it is another class of matchup between Russia and the United States of America. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He is a wrestler standing at 6'1 weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the only undefeated fighter in the light heavyweight division with a record of 10 and Standing at 6'3", weighing in at 205 pounds. He has a professional record of 28 victories and 7 defeats with 1 draw. With 14 victories by knockout. Fighting out of Tama Nobel, Russia. Here is Maxime Maximus Grishin. Your referee in charge, Dan Early. Dan Mergliata will monitor things inside of our PFL Smart Cage. Jordan Johnson in the gold shorts. Maxime Grecian, the right, Russian in the one. silver. You ready, sir? You ready, sir? Let's go, fight. Touch of the gloves to get started here. Grecian takes the center of the cage. Jordan Johnson already switching stances. Inside leg kick from Grecian. Jab misses for Johnson. And now Grecian switching stances. Sabat front kick by Grecian. Exchange of jabs there. Eve, did you expect to see this feeling out process early for these light heavyweights? I definitely did, especially with Jordan Johnson's mentality. He likes to figure a guy out. He doesn't want to just jump in there. Catches a kick and dumps Maxime Grecian to his back. And Ryan comes up over for a triangle. Johnson's got to get his head high. He's doing the right thing now. He breaks the grip. Good job. Breaks out of that triangle attempt. Immediate response there from Maxime Grecian, who we have not seen working off his back yet. 
No, but he says he's been working on his wrestling and his grappling, so I expect to see an improved game from him. There's Jordan Johnson's wife, Stephanie. Been to every single fight of her husband's career. That's her in the yellow to match, I guess, the shorts of Jordan Johnson. Grecian working his way back up on the cage here. You notice Grecian using that heel on that hip on that bottom side to create some space and get Jordan Johnson's hips off of him so he could then use the cage to walk up and get back to his feet. That's what they were trying to tell Sayyum on the top of the I think you just wanted to say Sayyum on the again. It's, I just want to prove my proficiency in saying that name. <laughs> nice little exchange there from the close quarters. A knee from Maxime Grishin and a right hand, left hand combo from Jordan Johnson. Yeah, Johnson's got to be careful hanging in that, that head in that clinch. And catch one of those tall knees from Maxime Grishin. That was. A little blood on the forehead there for Maxine Grisham. Yeah, but I, I really appreciate what Maxine Grisham did. He was able to get himself out from underneath an Iowa State wrestler from Ooh, the close Iowa. Iowa. Oh, Iowa. Iowa wrestler. I'm sorry, Iowa wrestler. I did say Iowa State, didn't I? Okay, you out of trouble there. Yeah. The Midwest is <laughs> going to riot against Steve Edwards. <laughs> bring it. No, 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 bring it. No more corn for you, sir. <laughs> Switching stances back and forth. Jordan Johnson, long jab. Grishin kind of hopped in there, but didn't really do much with it. Jordan changed levels. Looked like he was going to start a double leg and thought better of it. Grishin changed the angle. Explores a high kick off the glove of Jordan Johnson. Leg kick from Grishin. And now Johnson's got the center of the cage and has Grecian's back against the cage. It's a good job on timing that shot. He set Grecian up, put his back on the fence, threw one punch to get Grecian's hands high, and then followed those in to get to this position. Good job by Jordan Johnson. Grecian using that overhook, that whizzer, and, and doing a good job of keeping Johnson's hips off of him. When you got your back against the cage against a wrestler like this, if you can stay on the feet, it's a small confidence builder and a victory, Randy. Absolutely. Every chance you get to stuff a guy like this who's a very, very good high-level NCAA wrestler, that is a, a feather in your cap. And he just missed there for Jordan Johnson on the exit. Back to the center of the cage, these two light heavyweights. Maxime Grishin out of Russia in the silver, Jordan Johnson in the gold, and still six points on the line here with one minute left in our first round. <laughs> Body shot from Grisha. Gosh, he's long and he can extend that right hand. Switching stances, explores the left kick and back to Orthodox. Catches a kick from Johnson. 30 seconds left here in round number one. The feeling out process is over. It is. I like the way Johnson moves though. When Johnson gets Grishin back against the fence, he covers well. And Grishin has to throw a combination. He has to be offensive to get himself off of that, out of that position. High front kick there from Jordan Johnson just grazes the nose. Body kick from Grishin to close round number one here. Sean O'Connell, right, Randy Couture, right, Eve Edwards back here, go, cage fight. side for the Professional Fighters League. Light heavyweights in the cage. Maxime Grecian in the silver with that inside leg kick. Jordan Johnson in the gold shorts. Another inside leg kick from Grecian. That one snuck a little north. All right, you right? All right, time back in. Let's go. You okay? Touch of gloves there. Accidental. Both guys switching leads, and that can be difficult, especially when you start throwing those in inside kicks. They'll slide right up a thigh and check a cup. Lead kick from Grecian to the head there of Jordan Johnson, and he catches the leg. Now elevating great defense there from Grecian, who's able to avoid another takedown. And I like how Grecian stepped out of that height, out of that limp leg from the single defense right into a straight right hand. 
I think Christian's corner was honest with him and told him, I think, that he probably dropped that first round. That one takedown was the one defining thing that happened in that first round for Jordan Johnson, and I think that probably made a 10-9 round. Well, he's a fighter who's made adjustments in the past. Nearly four times as many fights in his career as Jordan Johnson. Got the experience advantage. Chance of USA as it's a Russia versus United States matchup here in Professional Fighters League. The impassive face of Jordan Johnson's wife, Stephanie. Body locked by Grishi. Jordan Johnson doing a nice job of trying a little foot wheel, trying to off balance Maxim Grishi. Grishi's got great balance. He stays up there. Grishi's back against the cage here. Three minutes left in round number two. We'll go inside the red corner of Maxime Grishin. Max, don't stand behind him. Move, move away from there. This is his job, yes. Yes, yes, 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 yes. Big leg kick there for Maxime Grishin, and now inside the corner of Jordan Johnson, the new nice. Hands up, hands up, double double. Bader, double double, Bader. Bader. I know, I do. Move. Two minutes, double Move. J. Move. It's all right. Check it. Check it. Randy, you heard the corner of Maxime Grishin there say that Jordan Johnson is tired. Is that going to prove to be a storyline here as this fight extends? Well, I, I guess it depends on if you believe it or not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any real fatigue there. He's sweating. His skin has turned a little pink, but some guys do that. I don't think he's showing any signs of fatigue in my mind. Left hook misses, sets up the double leg attempt here, and now he'll switch. And Jordan's corner talking about the Bader Bader, talking about Ryan Bader, a technique that they've associated with him because Ryan Bader's one of his training partners that's helping him prepare for these fights. Yeah, he told us that it was Ryan Bader and CB Dalloway that helped get him ready for these. A couple of impressive fighters in their own right. Jordan Johnson riding the leg there, Maxime Grishin, Eve. Yeah, Jordan Johnson staying on that leg. Without that leg, Grishin's going to have a hard time getting back to the standing position. But when he, they were calling for that Bader, Ryan Bader likes to double jab and use that to follow it up, follow it up with either a big right hand or a shot. So he, I believe they're telling him to Bader use that double jab and make reads and then capitalize on what he's reading. Grishin did a good job working his way back to his feet and off the cage. 30 seconds left to work here in round number two, potentially five points still on the line. It's the third time we've seen him explore that lead leg head kick. Right hand just misses. He just created two right hands. 10 seconds left here in round number two as the action heats up a bit. Big right hand again from Grishin. A third round next. A round three of light heavyweight action ahead. Maxime Grishin there in the silver, and Jordan Johnson, the American newcomer, in the gold shorts. And we were discussing during the break, how's this one being scored? I, I've got it two rounds to none for Johnson, but you never know how the judges see this. Yeah, well, that second round was definitely a lot closer. There was no definitive takedown or thing that happened. Grishin landed some nice strikes, so did Johnson, so it, it was a much tougher round to score. Grishin slips a punch there and answers with an uppercut. 
Once again, it's his back against the cage, and that's where Jordan Johnson wants him. Grabs that single leg and elevates, Randy. High single, trying to find a way to sweep that leg out. Reese, again, with some great balance to stay out of those situations. And now he works back to the center of the cage. Big leg kick from Maxime Grisha. Switches to southpaw. Now, right here, I believe Jordan is going to keep covering to set up a shot. Fire a combination and then follow in with the shot. Whenever he backs Grisha up, that's what he's doing. Jordan Johnson's corner, nice. content to Beautiful. watch. Right. Hands together. Sets up Hands that shot. Together. Pull, pull, pull. Chain wrestle. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Prime, prime, prime. Prime, prime, prime. Hey, head, head, head. Think, think cradle right now. Pull, pull, pull. Iowa wrestle, baby. Iowa wrestle. There you go. Keep going. Well, they're calling for wrestling, Randy. Was that the right advice? I, I think so. I think, look how Max is hanging his head. He's got that near leg. He come over that head, cradle him up, suck him down to the mat, and, and establish a good top, top dominant position, and, and effectively steal the round with that takedown. Three minutes left to work for Maxime Grishin. Took the number two seed into the season one light heavyweight playoffs. And now his back is stuck against the cage. Pressure from Jordan Johnson. Nice job by Max getting right back to his feet. Judo throw. Came out swinging off of the break. Very, very nice attempt by Max Grisham. He's got half a round left to make something happen and potentially steal four points in the light heavyweight standings. If he keeps letting himself get worked back against the cage there. Yeah, he's got to circle out, but he's got to do that with combination. Grishin is who I'm talking about. Max Grishin allows himself to get put on, get his back put on the fence. And when Jordan Johnson sets it up, he fires a combination and follows in for those legs. Right there. He's looking for it again. Vinny, Vinny Magalesh watching the outcome. See who he may potentially face in his second outing for the regular season here in the Professional Fighters League. Well, Jordan Johnson is a newcomer, but he comes in with some hype behind him, highly regarded, an undefeated record. So maybe a favorite to end up in the championship belt. For some people, I'm sure he is. 90 seconds left. He's definitely on my list as one of the guys potentially going to the fight. Now, Max Grisham did a nice job of changing levels, dodging Johnson's punch. Got in on the legs, but didn't move his feet. He didn't drive through him. Time running out here for Maxime Grishin, an exchange of jabs there. Grishin follows it up with a right hand. I believe Grishin has to open up, and when he fires these counters, he needs to put a combination together rather than just firing the one shot. He landed that big right hand. Maybe if he followed it up, he could have got himself to position him to, to take Jordan out. 45 seconds left here in round number three. Big oh, overhead oh, right oh, from Johnson. Big and one back. <laughs> Maxime Grishin says, I got one for you too. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Only 30 seconds left as they heat it up. Oh. Big right hand. Maxime Grishin knocks down Jordan Johnson. He didn't follow up. Right back to his feet is Johnson. 20 seconds left. An interesting fake by Grishin. He picked up his leg. It was almost like a Superman punch. Grishin may be letting this one get away from him. When you drop a guy like that and he gets back up, he may still be on Queer Street. He may not be completely back. Round three ends. Was that enough for Maxime Grishin? We find out next. Light heavyweight bout in Professional Fighters League action here on Long Island. Well, Eve, help me walk through these Cajunomics, the final stats, much more active in the striking, Jordan Johnson, but we saw there in the third round, especially Maxime Grishin landed significant stuff. Yeah, Jordan Johnson 
threw a lot more shots, but he was using a lot of those shots to get himself into position to work for takedown. He did have a lot more pressure on him during this fight, so that could win him this fight, but Maxim Grisham was able to land shots when they did stay on the outside. Inside knee, little uppercut, hook from Johnson. You see overhand right to the double leg by Johnson. There's the big right hand by Grisham. Little inside trip, and then the right hand that puts him on the deck. And Eve, he did not rush to jump on the Feld Johnson. He let him pop back up, kind of went about business. Will it be enough? We'll find out now. Lillian Garcia has our official decision inside of the PFL Smart Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, earning three points in the light heavyweight division, Maxime Grishin! Maxime Grishin pulls off the big season two opener. A decision victory, good for three points against Jordan Johnson. Wow. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.